Action bias. This describes our tendency to favor action over inaction, often to our benefit. However, there are times when we feel compelled to act, even if there's no evidence that it will lead to a better outcome than doing nothing would. Our tendency to respond with action as a default, automatic reaction, even without solid rationale to support it, has been termed the action bias. Ambiguity effect. This describes how we tend to avoid options that we consider to be ambiguous or missing information. We dislike uncertainty and are therefore more inclined to select an option where the probability of achieving a favorable outcome is known. Attentional bias. This describes our tendency to focus on certain elements while ignoring others. Research has shown that many different factors can bias our attention, from external events and stimuli, such as a perceived threat to our safety, to internal states, such as hunger or sadness. Bandwagon effect. This refers to our habit of adopting certain behaviors or beliefs because many other people do the same. The bandwagon effect serves as a heuristic by allowing us to make decisions quickly, to avoid standing out and being excluded. Many of us support the behaviors or ideas of the groups we find ourselves in. We accept the majority opinion because we want to be on the winning side. Barnum Effect. This describes when individuals believe that generic information, which could apply to anyone, applies specifically to themselves. Even though it is well known that horoscopes are intentionally vague to appeal to as many people as possible, some are still amazed at how perfectly these descriptions apply to themselves. The Barnum Effect tricks us into believing that a particular horoscope was meant for just us, encouraging us to find non-existent parallels between the text and our own lives. Base rate fallacy. When provided with both individuating information, which is specific to a certain person or event, and base rate information, which is objective, statistical information, we tend to assign greater value to the specific information and often ignore the base rate information altogether. Belief. Perseverance. This describes how we continue to hold on to established beliefs even when faced with clear, contradictory evidence. We tend to prioritize our initial conclusions and resist changing our minds, even when it might be in our best interest to do so. Causal thinking. Cognitive dissonance. Ego defense mechanisms and confirmation bias are the reasons we hold tight onto our beliefs. Benjamin Franklin Effect. This describes how doing a favor for someone can actually make us feel more positively towards that person, especially when we do a favor for someone we dislike and then convince ourselves we like them to resolve this cognitive dissonance. This shows how our actions can shape our feelings, often without our awareness. Bike shedding. This describes our tendency to spend too much time discussing trivial matters and too little time discussing important matters. This occurs because it is much easier to discuss simple issues we are confident that we comprehend. In group settings, we often look to voice our opinions as a sign of participation. Bottom dollar effect. This describes our tendency to transfer the negative emotions associated with exhausting a budget onto our satisfaction with a purchase. Not all money is viewed or valued the same in our minds. When we create a budget and get near the end of the money allocated to that budget, we end up feeling more pain spending that money. Since we feel worse spending that money, we transfer those emotions onto the actual purchase and feel as though it wasn't worth what we paid, causing us to be dissatisfied with the product. Bounded rationality. This describes the way that humans make decisions that depart from perfect economic rationality, since we are limited by our mental capacity, the information available to us, and time. Instead of striving to make the best choices, we often settle on making merely satisfactory choices. Bundling bias. This describes the fact that we are less likely to use up all the items that we purchase in a bundle, compared to if we individually purchase those items. When items are sold as a bundle, consumers are asked to make a decision on what they might want long-term, based on their short-term preferences. Often, our long-term desires don't actually align with our current preferences, known as the projection bias. Buy now effect. This describes our tendency to think of the word buy when we read the phonetically similar word buy. As a result, our behavior is primed by the associations of buy, and this can cause us to spend more. When we process vast amounts of information, it is easy for our brain to mix up different links and associations. Even though buy is not semantically related to buy, they are phonetically identical. Cashless effect. This describes our tendency to spend more money when we are using payment methods that do not require physical cash. There is thought to be less pain associated with using non-tangible forms of payment, such as a credit card, potentially because the transaction is less transparent. Category size bias. This is a mental error made when we assume outcomes are more likely when they belong to a larger category or sample group. Whether or not the bias has a psychological basis, however, is still up for discussion.
Choice. Overload. When given more options to choose from, people tend to have a harder time deciding, are less satisfied with their choice, and are more likely to experience regret. Having more options to consider drains our mental energy more quickly. Trying to find the best option also makes us prone to choice overload, as does preference uncertainty. Commitment. Bias. This describes our unwillingness to make decisions that contradict things we have said or done in the past. This is usually seen when the behavior occurs publicly. When our past decisions lead to unfavorable outcomes, we feel the need to justify them to ourselves and others. This results in us developing an argument supporting this behavior, which can cause us to change our attitudes toward it. Decision fatigue. When individuals make worse decisions as time goes on. Decision fatigue is why individuals feel overwhelmed when they have too many choices to make. Decision fatigue occurs for various reasons, including but not limited to mental exhaustion, faced by trade-offs, economic background, and glucose levels. Declinism. This is the belief that the world and our society is inevitably getting worse. It is caused by our tendency to view the past with rosy retrospection, a positive outlook, and to view our present with a negative bias. In the present, we tend to focus on the negative things that happen as a survival instinct, to always be on the lookout for threats that could harm us. Since we do not need to have the same survival instinct when thinking of the past, positive memories are more likely to be remembered. Decoy effect. This describes how people's preferences when picking between two options are altered by adding a third, relatively unattractive decoy option. The decoy is asymmetrically dominated, meaning that it is completely inferior to one option, the target, and somewhat inferior to the other, the competitor, making us more likely to choose the prior. Disposition effect. This is our tendency to sell winning assets too early and hold on to losing assets for too long. This is motivated by loss aversion, meaning our resistance to realizing losses even if it is a more profitable move. The disposition effect is also strengthened by keeping mental accounts, seeking pride, and fear of regret. Distinction. Bias. We have the tendency to view two options as more distinctive when we evaluate them together than we do when we evaluate them separately. Our predictions of what will make us happy don't always turn out to be accurate. This disconnect, in combination with our tendency to compare specific parts of the options we're given, rather than form holistic impressions of each option on its own, give rise to distinction bias. Dunning-Kruger effect. Those who are overconfident in their ability may not actually be the top performers, whereas those who believe they are average, or even slightly below, often demonstrate great skill. People of low ability may not have enough intelligence to fully grasp how complicated something can be, causing them to overestimate their knowledge or ability. Einstelling effect. This describes when individuals approach a problem with a mindset that has worked in the past, even if a more efficient solution exists. This phenomenon, rooted in the brain's reliance on familiar patterns and synaptic plasticity, hinders creativity and problem solving by limiting consideration of alternative perspectives. Write down in the comments what I should do next. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching.